Welcome to Soto Creations where we make your imagination a reality. I'm starting out this video by unboxing this new balloon pump that I got. Now you'll find out why here shortly. I'm pulling the pieces apart here. I have two nozzles, the main pump and a power cord that come with it. Now these nozzles are for bigger size balloons and the five inch balloon. So I'm going to test this out to see how it works. The reason I got this is because I found some reviews that said this was a good pump to use to inflate double stuffed five inch balloons. Before we move on, this is the color palette we are working with. The customer and I went back and forth. I went through several trials of colors because she specified she wanted matte and this is what we ended up with. Now these colors turned out beautiful. When I first came up with all these colors and she picked those four, at first I wasn't that thrilled with the combination of colors. But once I got to designing at the day of the event, I just fell in love with the design. So I will link all those colors down below in the description box if you're interested in recreating any of these colors. I'll have all that linked below for you. So this event is for a baby shower. She was planning it for her sister-in-law and contacted me to see if I could do a matte looking backdrop. I'll show you the inspo picture as we go on with the video so you know what des the design looks like. The colors are not quite the same but the design is what she, what inspired her to contact me and what we went off of to create the full backdrop at the very end. I have my tub here with my double stuffed balloons. I'll show you again later on how I double stuff them. Just stay tuned for that. But I have to work with what I have because life happens and of course this is reality. I try to make the video so you guys see the positive and the struggles that I go through and you can hopefully learn from my struggles. I have this tub here because my mom help me double stuff the balloons so that I could use them. So I decided to start out by inflating the ones that she already did and then see if I have time to double stuff the rest of the colors and then put it together. Again, today was kind of a busy day for me because the kids had to go to camp and I volunteered at church for this camp as well. So I'm rushing to get all these balloons inflated so that they're ready for the event that is tomorrow. That's why you also see me looking at my watch. But again, when I started inflating with this pump, it was extremely, extremely slow. You can just see my face of how I have to wait for these balloons to inflate. And I'm just not having it. I actually try to inflate. I don't know if you caught that earlier inflate these 11 inch balloons with my regular pump on the side there and it was not happening. I don't know what I was doing wrong but in the past I have tried to dabble a little bit with double stuffed balloons when I got when they became very popular and cut things were being customized as far as balloon colors but the issue that comes with that is it's a lot more expensive for customers when you double stuff because you're using twice the amount of balloons. But not only that, it's harder on your fingers and assembling is hard as well. So most clients would just pick the basic colors and that's what I've done so far. But I was truly excited about this particular design because it allowed me to work with double stuff balloons and be able to say I have that experience with them. Now they are definitely harder to form because you know with the organic look you have to try to compress the balloons because you have that second layer of the balloons it makes it a lot harder to to, to tie, not only tie but to compress so that you get that rounded look because that outer layer of balloon creates some sort of a resistance to the balloons. So I'm here working on inflating 
this bigger balloon this is a 36 inch and it took forever as well but again that's the other pack of double stuffed balloons that Daniel is handing to me that they already put together so I'm working on all this if I can get all this done and even have time to double stuff the rest and inflate them then I'll be prepared for the event tomorrow so I was really excited as I said because I want to see how it is working with double stuffed balloons another thing is when you do inflate your balloon you're inflating the inner balloon and when you're tying it you're tying the inner balloon as well because that is the balloon that has the air in it so this is the second color we have the ivory silk and on the outside and the inside has silver so this gives it a little bit of a creamy color i would say so I'm showing you close up how I'm pulling out that silver balloon and tying, double tying just the silver balloon so that the air doesn't come out. Now the outer balloon is not going to budge because it's being held by the inner balloon. So we're working on all this right now. You'll see the event that the customer chose to host this baby shower, very beautiful event and I just love how the backdrop or the back wall where I set up the event just complements the full decor and I was able to use some of the other props there to just add to the backdrop and it turned out beautiful. So at this point, Richard is coming to see what's going on and look at that. It finally worked because he was asking me why I bought the little pump and why I can't use my regular pump he didn't think that little pump had enough power as my regular pump and I was trying to show him that even when I put the smaller nozzles they don't inflate the five inch balloons and he was tugging on it I think I've shown you guys this in the past when I have the tough text uh, I believe it was the gold five inch that was hard to inflate I just pull on the end and it's able to inflate he even suggested closing one of the ends to create more pressure on that initial side of the pump and it did not help at all with the five inches but then at least I figured that I can inflate the five inches on this smaller pump and I can inflate my 11 inches on my regular pump which is pretty fast you see how fast it inflates here in a little bit so that helped Daniel is trying to help. I have a lot of help as you guys can always tell from my videos. But they're working on seeing what they can do to help and he's learning. So eventually, hopefully he will be doing this and then I won't have to worry about it. Just kick my feet back and relax and let him do it. Maybe if he's still interested in a couple of years from a couple of years from now. So with the five inch balloons, I do not tie the inside balloon. I actually tie both because it's easier. I found that it's stretchy enough and they can tie just fine. But with the 11 inch and the bigger balloons, I definitely pull that inner balloon and tie that instead. So I'm working on putting all the clusters together. You'll also notice that the clusters are pretty hard to intertwine together compared to if you have just single balloons. It's hard to squeeze them around because a double, double stuffed balloons just create more resistance. So it's tighter and so when you tie them together and you're trying to twist things together, it, it makes it very hard to get it through because they're not as stretchy as single balloons so that's something to keep in mind that you could be prepared for it would be a great thing if you guys would just try to double stuff the balloons and see how it is for yourself you can see here how hard it is for me to just twist everything together okay now i'm going to show you how i double stuff the balloons i have my chopstick that I got from one of the 
Asian restaurants, what you want to do is put the chopstick through the balloon that is going to go on the inside. Then you want to hold at the very tip where the balloon opening is, hold it onto your chopstick, then feed that through your balloon that goes on top while you hold just the very end of that balloon that goes on top and just work your way through but once you get all get the top balloon all the way through to the end you want to grab the end of both balloons so that it stay the inner balloon stays on the very tip of the outer balloon and it doesn't come apart i hope that makes sense so you <laughs> i'm showing you a comparison here of colors you can see on the far left there it's a lot brighter this customer emphasized that she wanted matte so i'm showing you how i tie it here i think i repeat that step i hope that made sense i created a short as well to show you this part if you'll check that out as well then i explain more there but this color i really like the brown inside the tough text that's a tough text blush it doesn't look like blush, but that's what they named it. Tough Tex brand in the color blush. So I put a mocha brown from Qualitex inside that to create this beautiful matte color that just looks great for this you can barely wait theme. So Daniel is helping me with some of the balloons to stuff them and he actually enjoyed doing this he found his method where he would pull on the inner balloon once it's in and release it for it to just pop off the chopstick and also one thing i forgot to say is the chopstick is not a wooden chopstick i used the plastic ones because i don't want it to either get caught on the balloons or pop the balloons so it's easy for me to twist i'm gonna show you the design inspiration that's what it's going to look like that's the picture she sent so uh, you'll see me refer back to that every now and then especially at the venue so that i don't forget what i'm doing and i can keep track of how i want the colors not that the colors were in this the exact same order but just to have an idea of which color she wanted to stand out more versus another so i'm putting the five inches together they're the easiest ones to double stuff as they get bigger they're pretty hard to stuff you'll see that in the future so i still have some time so i'm working fast here to get this done so that when i have to go for the event tomorrow i'm all prepared because I also have work tomorrow so I have to go set this up and go to work so let me know in the comments which double stuff color you like the best now I forgot to completely welcome those of you who are here for the first time I want to first show you how much of a struggle it is with those th 36 inch partly because the chopstick is not long enough and the balloon is so thick so it's hard to get it through the neck of that top balloon but once I get it in then I'm able to hold it and kind of pull through where it stays in place and then inflate it but you have to make sure you get it completely inside and of course pull that inner neck and tie and those are the balloons I'm going to use just towards the end to just add that extra dimension that extra organic look to the balloon so thank you so much for watching this far if this is your first time tuning in i really appreciate you guys please consider subscribing i take you along with me as i decorate for events you can see where i stuffed the white inside the mocha you see it lighten up and it just changes that color i notice it more now as i'm editing the video because you can just see it brighten up these are the boards i made because of this event if you've seen my last video well i'm not sure when i'm posting this but i already posted the video of how i made these backboards 
I knew that I had a few minutes. This is the next day, a few minutes before the event, about 30 minutes. So I decided to put all my words on the backdrop before heading to the venue so that it saves me time when I get there. Like I told you guys yesterday, I don't have much time to set up for the event. I think I had only two hours. Plus, I had to hurry up and come back and get a little nap in before work. So, Richard is helping me here. The tape I did, I used in such a way that my words were aligned. So, it was easier for me to use a leveler and just put it in place. So, I'm taking more of the lint off my pants so that tape is not as sticky as it was for this one as I put the next colors. So, Oliver is here practicing his letters and I've been teaching him how to spell his name and he's able to tell me all these letters so I was very excited that was a milestone for me but the funny thing is at his age he's not yet understanding that when you put out the letters and spell them out they actually don't spell his name not all the words spell his name so when he said the B-E-A-R-L-Y, he said Oliver. So that was funny, but at least he knew the letters. So I am getting all the words on the backdrop. I've shown in my previous videos how I designed this on Canva and how I prefer using tape versus transfer tape for these designs. I'll talk about this backdrop. That's the backdrop I made first. We decided to add that crossbar where you see the weight on in order to make it more stable because it was arching in the middle the other two backdrops that i did the tutorial on how to make them i made them three feet wide and that one on the floor is four feet so when you set it up sometimes it it, it was getting where it was arching more so richard decided we should just cut a piece of wood and glue it to the back to keep it stable so we had the weight there to let it dry while I was cutting out my words and prepping all the other stuff to take to the event and it is dry so I'm loading up the car we've taken out the seats so that everything will fit and then we'll head to the venue here shortly I'm gonna go with Sabi so she can help me decorate she loves going with me to these events so everything is loaded this is the venue and I'm so thankful that the customer chose this wall of the venue for us to set up the backdrop because uh, the event has several walls against that you can use and they chose this one which was perfect. It went well with the color scheme, all the neutral colors, but you know what? I forgot to bring the weight for the backdrop. so you see me struggle a little bit at some point to get all the balloons on and in place but we get through it and richard is able to come to our rescue <laughs> thank god so here i am putting all the pegs onto the backboard i've shown you guys these pegs before i get them from walmart i just attach my 260q to the pegs and tie the balloons onto the backdrop that way some people like using like a rubber band or they make a a zero with the 260q so they just wrap that around the backdrop whichever way works easiest for you i just find that this way works for me i'm assembling the backdrop the garland right now connecting the colors trying to figure out which color would go how to alternate it and I want to make it long enough that I don't have to struggle on the top one once I have it hooked up to try to tie the balloon because being double stuffed it's already hard enough to tie the clusters together because as well the necks are not as stretchy as they would be if they were not double stuffed so I'm trying to make sure that my length is long enough so that I can put it on and not worry about it. So Sabi has the phone with the inspo picture. She's helping hand the balloons to me. There you go. The other two backboards fell because there are no weights, but that's okay. We'll leave them down for now until 
we get this side of the backdrop done we're rushing press for time trying to make sure that everything is done on time because it takes me longer to design the final stages so i'm trying to get my base down and then i'll then take time to fill the rest so i'm making sure i get all that done first and most of the balloon decor is on this particular backdrop so at least it's steady enough so far that i can work with it and just add all the balloons i need on here and we already called richard so he can bring us some weights from home i just use dumbbells and i'm using rubber bands here to attach this cluster on because i don't want to fuss with the idea of trying to find those necks within the garland because one it's tight together the clusters are tight together being double stuffed and also they're not as stretchy pardon the bump there are several people walking by trying to set up the hall as well as our camera being somewhat in the way so i'm trying to get the video so you guys can see as but they're also trying to move furniture around to get the venue ready so with that cluster at the top that i told you i was using the rubber bands on i actually used two rubber bands to get it where it would stay exactly where i want it to go and for these 36 inch balloons i just tie a five inch cluster to one end and use that to put it in the place I want it to go. So adding filler balloons, Sabi is putting the rubber bands on the five inch clusters and handing them to me and I'm just filling out the garland where they go matching the color to the same so that it remains that block or the, the color blocks of balloons. So she's been she worked very hard with me on this event and now i decide to fill the bottom a little bit because i have a thing about balloon garlands that have not enough thickness on the bottom and the top is thick it just looks so unsymmetrical to me so i end up adding more to the bottom just to fill that bottom now we're creating more clusters we had decent amount of balloons but i decided to create more just to make that garland more rounded and fill that base a little bit more so that's what i'm working on here doing the same method i showed you guys and i'm now creating a cluster of balloons that's going to go above where the teddy bear is gonna sit so that's the smallest backboard that you see on the floor is where I'm going to put this cluster of balloons and of course I'm trying to inflate enough balloons that all the colors are represented on that cluster of balloons so I keep adding trying to estimate while I check the work I've done so far to make sure that it actually matches the full scheme and I'm still adding more see it nearly fell over I have Sabi with Benji right there you guys have met Benji before I need to actually get an even bigger teddy bear when I did this I figured I would need a teddy bear that's even bigger than Benji for some of these designs so we're propping everything back up now that we are pretty much done with the right side and I figured this rug will be perfect to add to the backdrop just because it matches that wall and it will be good in pictures once they're taken to cover that uh, cemented floor as well so same method using to attach this balloon onto the smaller backdrop I just have one of those clips with a 260 Q attached to it and I wrap that around we're checking the picture to figure out how exactly this looks and I realized that the balloons that were in the picture were way bigger than this tiny cluster that I put on there so I'm inflating more balloons to add to it so that I can make it even bigger. Again, I'm putting a couple of different colors that are already on the backdrop and I'm going to create clusters here to just add to that design. So as you can see, looking for all my colors to make sure they're all represented. Here comes Richard to the rescue with the weight. And of course, there's always something to talk about. He's updating me on something he found and 
we're all discussing that and I'm surprised at what he's sharing with me. It, it's so funny how you, you, you see each other five minutes later, there's always something to talk about. Anyway, I'm attaching that using the neck. Of course, it's taking me way longer than I want it to because the neck is hard. It's not stretching enough, but eventually I get that on and I realize since I'm extending that smaller cluster, I need another clip and that's what I'm doing there with another 260Q attached to the clip to tie that part in so it doesn't fly away. And I'm putting all those weights that he brought on the back to see, hold everything in place. So he brought me, I believe there were six weights. Each of the, the backdrops have two stands on the back. Again, I'll link the video on how you can make these backdrops in the description below. I explained that I still like my backdrop that is four feet wide because when I put balloons on it, it reduces some of the backdrop so it works out perfectly when it comes to these other designs so i'm adjusting the balloons here and we'll be pretty much done here shortly please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and continue to spread the word i appreciate each and every one of you so much for all your kind comments all your likes if you like this design or like the tutorial please consider clicking that thumbs up button it really keeps me going and i appreciate each and every one of you for all your support if you have any ideas of designs you would like to see leave them in the comments below i'll do my best to work on those i'm thankful this was a different design that, than you guys have seen as well in the past i'm working on maybe doing one of the ice cream cones that's one of you requested so that's in works right now. So continue to watch and I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, remain blessed. Thank you.